you can see afar the ndc leadership have become visionless the young men are suffering there is no future for any young man in the ndc official manifesto they have no head omo na dey say nya chum say o person do soldier police ko ya computer na computer be ka chira o say o tin tin sun ye na sebi en kwasi assemble no no ma no da so me na so ma pass it o say ma member na member to form mpp ba ya no samwa ye they are going behind they are creating jobs so ti dem chana say at the election year na wa ba be ka say wa cancel alawa election year o a o petu me na wa ne nkoto aba na maye ye kan ye mo antie na na eh me say uh huh ecg ecg penya oda oda no so e wa ha no um i think say there is deliberate smile e wa party no mo deliberate smile there is deliberate smiling oh she ma ma tumuye ma omo election time e bedru omo sere se keke me say e be chen ukraine ni russia war e dey e bo bo ba we ndc mo no omo election no e be chen you e say your membership no your membership no kedes no ye ja omo party ni mo we have formed the party nti omo na be ye adwuma na ma ya sasa party no omo omo di omo di kwa bna do fo enyina chi ni wara view no o ti ase they work with us we will make sure say they will keep the party on its toes or more restricted ndc is not when ndc leadership current leadership no and your point to me normal poll they are looking for who will lead the party none of them want john dramani mahama to be president put me on record sir me na me catch it all john dramani mahama many votes no abonte but internally panel so do see kama me same fan koto bank mawa until semi this has come back to accounts you have no money and by some of us up for the air the year in tennis when we were preparing the whole for party the party executives national regional and constituency <laughs> friends colleagues before i say a few words i want you to join me in observing a minute silence, not only for Mrs. Agnes Okujato, who died tragically today, but also for the MCE for Bibiani, who came, was part of the MMDCs who came to visit with me in Accra on Tuesday, and on his way back, met his tragic death in an accident. I would like all of us to remember him, a valiant son of our party and movement. May so, in the souls of all the faithful departed, 
rest and abide in the bosom of the Lord until the last day of the resurrection when we shall all meet again. Amen. It's great to have you all here. A crowd stadium has never been so, has never looked so good as it looks today, taken over by the new patriotic party. It's good to see you all here. And we're here to complete the process of internal elections of our party. The final lap in electing party officials. We began with electing polling station executives to 38,000 plus polling stations, five member executives. We elected 6,260 electoral area coordinators. We've elected 4,658 constituency executives and 160 regional elections. All levels of our party have been involved in these internal elections. And today, we are crowning it with the national elections. No political party in Ghana has displayed the organizational skill and capacity. And God bless the new patriotic party. And we've gone through these elections with a lot of composure, composure and with unity and coherence. And my prayer is that when we finish these elections today, the same composure, the same unity, the same coherence will guide our future. I want to use this occasion also to say a big thank you to the leadership of the Trades Union Congress and organized labor for agreeing to the arrangements they came to the other day with the Minister for Employment and Labor and Minister for Finance. The agreement was in the national interest of Ghana that we should go forward to confront the difficulties of our country without the divisiveness of strikes and the confusions that they will bring. So I want to say a big thank you to organized labor for reaching this agreement because it demonstrates also the concern that our party has always had and will continue to have for the concerns of the working people of Ghana. During the pandemic, at the height of the pandemic, when people had to stay at home, no single worker in the public sector was dismissed. No salary cuts were visited on the, on, 